What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a jump particle effect using Niagara. It's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so... When we jump, we want to spawn a little particle effect, right? To create that sense of cartoonish or, you know, more arcadey feel. So let's go into the content browser, right click, and search Niagara System. And now, as you can see, we have a bunch of templates where we can, you know, select as a starting point. So the one that we are going to be choosing is going to be a burst. Okay, a burst is like a one time explosion thing, right? And that's exactly the base of what we are doing. So let's find a couple of them. We have directional, omnidirectional, we have radio, we have simple burst, upwards. There's a couple of them. Now, in this case, the best one is going to be omnidirectional because it just goes through all directions, kind of like dust or, you know, a little jump effect. Let's hit create, name this NS as for Niagara system, underscore dust or just uh, jump, whatever, right? Okay, so here we go. We have the Niagara effect created. As you can see, it is very, very simple indeed. Doesn't have any craziness. Just has a simple sprite renderer, which is a little circle. Okay, of course, it looks very boring. Okay, so how can we go ahead and spawn it when we jump? Well, there's a couple ways to do this. We can do the blueprint approach or we can do the animation approach. In this case, I think it's more convenient to do it through animation. So it's actually very simple. We just need to go ahead and open up the jump animation which in this case is under the mannequins animations many folder and here it is jump so as you can see i can just find the frame when i kind of jump and when i spawn the particle effect and then in the notify track we can just right click add notify and then say play niagara particle effect and the notifies track just enables us to add events such as you know spawning a niagara particle effect so if we select this, we can go to the details panel and you select the NS jump that we just created. And now as you can see, we just upon that little Niagara effect when we jump and it's working. And it's already pretty cool even by default, I'm not going to lie. But of course, we want to customize this a bit with our own texture or whatever. So what I did was import this simple, you know, kind of dust texture, which is a PNG uh, image. So it doesn't have any transparency, right? And I literally just got this from Google. So honestly, you just get it from where we want in this case just an example okay all right so from this we want to convert this into a material right because right now it's only a texture so let's right click create material m underscore dust or whatever you want to name it and open this up and now we have to change a couple things right as you can see the material domain is surface we want to keep this now for the blend mode we're going to go to translucent okay because we want to have the alpha right the background totally transparent so we can uh, simply get the alpha, plug it into uh, the, the opacity, and that's it. As you can see, it's removing that PNG aspect of it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can change the shading model and a couple more things, but there's a one specific node that we need to add to make it like compatible with our Niagara system and to use one of the uh, updates here. And it's the particle color node, okay? And literally just get the rgb and multiply this by the texture rgb and plug it to the base color okay and not only that but get the alpha rgb or well not rgb which is alpha and multiply this by the alpha of the texture okay the reason why we're doing this is that the particle color updates with this kind of you know modifiers that we have added so our material will update okay simply that so now in the sprite renderer we can just do m underscore dust or whatever the material is and it's working okay we have changed all dust material but of course it is very small and it doesn't look very good i mean as you can see when i press place it's just like too small right it's already feeling okay but not exactly what we want so in the initialized particle kind of node or stage or whatever you want to call it right we can go ahead and increase the sprite sizes right right now it's from a random value from 3 to 7 we can increase it to like 15 to 20 and now as you can see it starts to be bigger 
we can even do it a bit more so maybe like you know 35 or 45 and 50 now as you can see at the start especially it is indeed more like a little particle effect and it's pretty pretty cool now i want to decrease the duration and lifetime of the particles because they stay flying and floating too much time so for this what we can simply do is go into the um initialized particles you can see we have a lifetime if we decrease it to me like 0.35 and 0.45 it's just way faster as you can see when i jump boom we have a little jump which is super cool as you can see and of course we could also change the color of the sprite right with the uh, color here to be just even more white or that i could just modify the texture and increase the brightness to like two uh, so it's a bit more you know saturated or the other way just decrease the saturation there's a couple things that we could do but yeah it's a cool effect as you can see now it's more white and we have this going on so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel you can download these sprite files in my unreal club so i will leave the link in the description and now yes with all i said bye bye